All right, Jesse on fire. Welcome back. So there's some new footage of the Tony Ferguson accident and the, uh, well, of the, uh, the post accident cleanup, which is unreal, dude. Like I saw, you know, I obviously I saw the story. I did a story about it yesterday that Tony Ferguson had gotten into DUI, crashed his car, flipped his truck, smashed a couple cars, survived everybody. Nobody got hurt. But now there's this like long, maybe five minute video of them like flipping his truck back over. The, the damage that he did to these two, these two cars that he crashed into, like this was a serious accident, dude. So I'm gonna show you guys that. And then uh, since we're on the topic of super drunk people getting blacked out drunk and then just being like, oh, I think I'll just drive home. And then, you know, either crashing into people's cars and by pure dumb luck, not killing anyone, I want to show you guys a video of a woman. Uh, this is a this is a uh, a girl who went viral this weekend, who killed two people in a DUI accident, and then this this video just released of her after the DUI or after she killed them, doing the field sobriety test where she's dancing around, and laughing. She gets into the into the hospital and they're and the she's having interaction with the cop, and she's literally acting like like. Uh, Someone asked for her ID and she's about to go back out to the blackjack table. She just literally ran two people over and killed them. This cop is trying to get her to, it's, it's, it's insane. It is an absolutely insane video. And it is, it, I literally learned about it the day before this Tony Ferguson. So I'm going to show you both videos and, uh, and then we'll talk about it. Trust me, stay around for the girl. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it. And in which case I would imagine you probably want to hear my take on it because I, uh, I have some thoughts on this girl and what is in store with her uh, as it relates to her sentence and what her life is going to be like after this. And uh, and honestly, I think it's important to watch this just because it's like, this is this is how close Tony Ferguson just came to, you know, oh, is he gonna fight again? No. Oh, actually, yeah, probably a lot, but just, you know, in prison, not in the octagon, you know, like in a prison octagon for a decade or more, you know? He got super lucky, dude, super, super lucky. So anyway, that's what we're going to talk about. If you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and do that. I appreciate you guys. You guys are the best. So let's jump into this thing and uh, whoop. let's watch this first. So just so you can get kind of a, a feel for this thing. So Tony, obviously you can see the, let me get a little bit smaller. You can see the back of that car is mashed. And that's the second car that he hit after he crashed and destroyed Cash Gotti's. What is this? I'm be trying to bite, bite off my channel. Free advertising. I'm just kidding. I got this from one scene uh, dot TV though. Uh, but you see this car right behind it. You can see it right there. That's Cash Gotti, the rapper's uh, car. And look at that, dude. Tony knocked the wheel off of it, dude. He hit that thing so hard. He knocked the wheel off of his car. Now there's another there's another shot later. Uh, they flip they flip Tony's truck back over. You'll see that in a second, and it's nuts, man. Like the 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 he has he has airbags that open on the on like the the driver's side window. It's really crazy. I've never seen anything like that. It's like it looks like a really awesome safety feature, which explains why he's not dead. Okay, and they show the uh, we're about to see. So this is, this is Tony Ferguson getting arrested. Uh, he's in the back of this truck right here. Uh, or the back of this Explorer right there. See, they're trying to film him, but he, there's, you know, limousine glass, so you can't see. And the other thing that I want to show you guys on here is, uh, well, here, you can see, look at this, dude. Look at that. He knocked the wheel off. Like, the, like he hit this car so hard, he knocked the wheel off of the guy's car, <laughs> dude. It's insanity. And, how, you know, how does that happen, dude? You know? How, how do you hit a car so hard that the wheel falls off, especially when he sideswiped it? Obviously, you can see by how he did it. He sideswiped that and then crashed into the back of the other car, then flipped. So you know what was going on is he's driving down the road, probably fell asleep, and he just swerved, and then boom! You know what I mean? And so watch this, dude. This is crazy. Oh my god. Just in case there's any misunderstanding, but see, do you see what I'm saying in the windows? Look at that, dude. It looks like a life raft opened up in the, on the passengers or the, the driver's side windows. I've never seen that before. Like I've never seen, I've never seen a feature like that. And then over here, there's like a, there's a quick video of uh, Cash Gotti and he's like, like, oh, hold up. Look at this. Look at the back. This is the car that he smashed into. Look at the front of Cash Gotti's Benz, dude. Just murked. Look at that. 
Look at that thing, dude. Just murked. <laughs> and here's Cash Gotti. Oh, shit. Sorry. Hang on. Oh, man. Came out the club. My shit was in this condition. That's how it was. They ask him. Take a truck right here, hit your car, and uh, yeah. flipped over and everything. Homie flipped over. He messed up my joint. Somebody else's. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So they, they ask him uh, if they if he saw who hit the car, and he's like, nah, man. He didn't know. He had no idea that uh, that it was Tony Ferguson that did it yet. So, uh, you know, it's... <laughs> so obviously my point, as, as we discussed this, is that Tony Ferguson fell asleep at the wheel. That is how that happens, okay? Like, if, if, you, if, a, if a, a drunk driving situation happens where a person goes... Rrr, and smashes into a car on the right side of the road and then smashes into a car in front of them. Obviously, that's this. So look into that safety. Anybody who's gonna buy a new truck, I would I would ask them about that safety feature. That looks like, that'll save your life, man. Saved uh, Tony Ferguson's life. Of course, I would hope that it would be saving your life if some drunk driving stupid fuck hit you, not you hit someone else when you were blacked out drunk because that shit is so crazy irresponsible. It's like, it's, it's like, come on, dude. It's 2023. Like, I'm not, I'm not like, am, am I going to pretend I've never had a drink and then, and then driven? I don't get drunk like that, okay? You will never see me, bro. Like who's he with? You know what I mean? Serious. I'm seriously asking. Like, who is he with? That's a that's at 3 a.m. Who's he hanging out with? Who's letting him drive after that? Now I'm not saying you know Tony's exactly a guy that you're. All, I'm taking your keys. He's all. Well, I just got sober. No, you're not. All right. But like, come on, dude. Call the fucking guy an Uber. Slash his tires. Oh my god, I don't know what happened, Tony. Seriously. If he's that drunk and he's like, I'm going to drive, I'd be like, distract this motherfucker. I would go outside and just, in all seriousness, like stick a fucking knife into his tires. Don't let that guy get behind the wheel when he is like that. Come on, dude. So anyway, the only reason he's not going to prison for over a decade like this next person we're going to show you is because he got lucky, dude. Okay. Lucky. Don't do it. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this right here because now we get into uh you know some really entertaining stuff so like i said this girl has just run over okay she just ran over two innocent people a couple you know gabrielle and me just had dinner you know date night having a good time hey babe what do you want to do holding hands and this stupid drunk bitch just killed us okay so this is her after this accident. Okay, okay. sir. You I'm understand? Right yes. All right, touch the tip of my pen just so you know where you're... By the way, uh, the only place I could find this that didn't have like a mountain of commentary on it was the Young Turks. I apologize for showing it to you on their channel. I will skip through their stuff as much as possible. But it looks like the original uh, channel was law and crime anyway. Very easy. All right. That's what I want you to follow. She oh, looks so excited. Oh, my head. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Just your eyes. Oh, We're it's gonna really try, hard. Gonna try it's that really, again. It's hard. All right. Just okay. 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 Spend at least five hundred dollars. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with <laughs> two Long Island. <laughs> Okay, just so we're clear, this chick is talking to a police officer who just peeled two dead innocent corpses off the ground that this chick ran over with her car. Okay, so just keep that in mind as we watch this. <laughs> you ever had enough of drinking already? We're talking about Vegas. Oh. There's no women at Vegas, right? Have you been there? Oh my God. This is like... I, I have so many things to say about this girl, dude. Like, I, so I, I will say this. The first time I watched this, I had the exact same reaction as everybody the first time they watched it. And the second time I watched it, I... Like, I'll get to that afterwards. But like, I have seen this kind of drunk person more times than I care to count. There are, pre, there are people that, that look like this every single time they drink, every single time. 
Anyway, she is dancing in the hospital after she just killed two people. We've done so. Okay, not listening to this guy. We don't care about the Young Turks guy at all. The police officer tried to get her to watch more. Oh, hey, you never answered me about my car. I have school tomorrow, so how do I get my car for tomorrow? Well, your car is told. It's what? Your car. So she, in case, the audio is not very good. So just in case you guys haven't heard that, she says, oh, you didn't answer me about my car. Like, I have school tomorrow. How do I get my car? It's total. Total? Total, total right. Okay, so how do I get it to your school tomorrow? You don't. So what do you mean? I don't go to school tomorrow is what you're telling me? No, ma'am. You want me to be honest with you? You're going to jail. You don't have a bond. You killed two people tonight. I don't think you understand that. You do not have a bond. You are not getting out of jail. Your car is property of East Peoria Police Department because it's a crime scene. It killed two people tonight. You are clueless with that. Clearly, I've already explained this to you. You're going to jail for reckless homicide tonight. You're going to jail for aggravated DUI for killing two people. That's what's going on. So no, you're not going to school tomorrow. You're not getting your car out of impound. Okay. So just so we're clear, right? When you're listening to this cop, I always try to like, like just understand the amount of restraint that this cop is showing because you hear about DUI accidents, DUI, fatal DUI, yada, 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 all the time, right? Like you read about them all the time, okay? This guy is the one who responds to fatal DUI, okay? Drunk person, dead kid in the other car, you know, dead white, pulling a dead kid out of a car that got killed by this drunken idiot in the other car that you have in cuffs that comes out without a scratch. Okay, that's what this guy does all the time. And people should think about that when they're judging cops for things in general, you know, give them a little bit of leeway. Okay, Uh, it's amazing to me how people are like, okay, yeah, well... (laughs) They, oh yeah, they're, they're looting a store, but think about their lives. They were born into abject poverty. And so, yeah, they're raiding a store because they don't have any options. And then like a cop, you know, you see a cop like hit a guy with a baton and, and then you're like, oh my God, it's unbelievable. He hit this guy with a, with a baton. You're all, oh yeah. So all the empathy in the world for the, for the, for the looter who's, who's in there just bashing you know windows in stealing things because of what you have you have no idea what their life is like you're making assumptions cop no assumptions needed okay the cop is the one who responds to all the nightmarish things that you read about in the paper and on the internet they're the ones who go there okay they're the ones who pull babies out of the microwave they're the one who pull dead corpses out of the cars when drunk drivers kill them they're the ones who respond to people who diddle kids and they have to actually interview a kid about that okay so like Pardon them if they're quick to hit someone with a baton. I'm pretty sure that you would want to smash every single person that looked like a person that you had interviewed who had diddled a kid, most likely. So what, your empathy only goes to strangers who are committing crimes? Like, grow up. Jesus. Sorry. Uh, Anyway, so let's go ahead and continue this really quick because it's not over, if you can believe that. Did you just hear what I just told you? You said I'm not going tomorrow. I'm talking about Tuesday. Did you hear what I said you that said you... I'm going to jail tomorrow. Did you, you're going to jail right. when we're down here? Yes. Did you understand what I told you that you killed two people tonight? Yes. Yeah, so I'm just wondering when I can go to school. Okay. We're done. She's not been... All right. So, uh, yeah. So that. Okay? That. Now... I want to, uh, if I can, I feel like this is probably kind of important also. So these are the people that she killed, right? These are the people that she killed, ran them over, killed them. So, yeah. So basically, uh, Tony Ferguson is the same as that girl. There's no difference between the two of them. None. None. Okay, I am a person who who puts 100% of the merit on a person's intentions, okay? If like by some random occurrence there is a different outcome that they did not foresee, I that like that is a thing that I heavily weight when considering what to do with a person, right? 
So like that actually breaks in this stupid chick's favor a little bit because it's like, all right, you know, like, so if she just would have somehow gotten home, okay, then she would have, it would have been like probably the other 500 times that she's done this and no one would have ever heard of her name and it is what it is. But then there's the other thing on the other side of that is like, oh, so you got home, you got home fine, just like the other times. But you also could have run over five people and killed all of them. You know what I mean? So as far as I'm concerned, Tony Ferguson and her are identical. Like there's no, there's no difference in what they did really. Because I would imagine that had Tony run a couple people over, he probably would have looked about as sorry as her because when you're that drunk, you don't understand what's going on. So that girl went to court, right? And she was like, I've, I, 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 there's nothing I could say. I, what I, I haven't had a single drink since then. She said that. I haven't had a single drink since then and I don't plan on drinking ever again. And I want to go out and speak to people about the dangers of alcohol and la, 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 la. And the sister of the killed girl was like, hey, sweetheart, there's nothing that you could do that, that, that could make, like, the, whatever sentence you get will not come close to the pain that you've caused me and my family. And she asked the judge to give her 28 years, which is the maximum. And the judge settled on 14. So that girl's going to jail for 14 years. Now, that sounds like, I don't know what that sounds like to you guys, but I am a person who generally tries to think really think about what those numbers mean because they're easy to get lost in the translation we're all 14 years she deserves life or you know like it's just like really think about what 14 years is it's a long time dude like 14 years is a very long time and if she, if it would have been different she would have just gotten home nothing would have happened and whatever 14 years stiff punishment but she killed two people they don't get to do anything ever again so I tend to think 14 years is actually probably around fair-ish, you know, like that's a, that is a catastrophic amount of time, but I could be convinced otherwise because guess what? She's probably 22 years old. She gets out when she's 36. That's younger than me, dude. She gets to live more, you know, more life than I have left after having done a thing like that. I don't get that drunk and drive. I would never drink like that and then drive, never. Just call an Uber, you lazy fucking bitch, Jesus. And that goes for you too, Tony Ferguson. Call a fucking Uber, Jesus. And his friends, stick a knife in his goddamn tires if he's too tough for you to take his keys. Grow up. So, I mean, that's just what it is, dude. That's what it is. Now, here's the other thing. So, like I said, the first time I watched it, that was my reaction. The second time I watched it, and I really was paying closer attention to the girl, and I realized I've seen her before. Not her personally, but I've seen this girl before, like this kind of girl drunk there aren't that many different types of people like you know like everybody gets drunk and they fall into like a few categories okay like i've seen this girl before and what i mean is like this is a person whoops that's the wrong one this is a girl who gets drunk and literally does not understand what is happening like she's like one of these like uh like gabrielle has a friend who's like this girl and she is, she literally has absolutely no idea what is going on. You know, Gabrielle, I can't, we one time Gabrielle threw a blanket over her head because she was trying to talk to this entire room and was talking complete nonsense. She's all, you got it. And Gabby just took a blanket and threw it over her head. And she just stood there with the blanket on top of her, you know? Now, in other situations, as an example, this girl, I want to play this before I say this, actually, again, just so I can give you guys the... Like, I want you to look at her again, and then I'll say the other part. Hold on. I want to get to the part where she's talking again. So, how did I get my car? Well, your car is totaled. That's what? Your car is totaled. Okay, so, if you've ever taken a girl home that was this drunk, like when you were, you know, much, much younger in my case, I'll tell you exactly what type this one is. This one... Through her, through through this, she's like, "I really like you. You're gonna call. You're gonna call me, right? You're gonna call me. You're like, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna call you for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. One hundred percent. I'm gonna call you. We're definitely one hundred percent going to hang out for sure. Are you sure? Are you see? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. For sure. Yeah. And in your back of your mind, you're like, 
you are not going like you're you're not going to want me to call you tomorrow i'm you you want me to tell you i'm going to call you right now for some reason i don't even really know what's happening because what's going on in her brain is like mishmash you know what i mean she doesn't even know why she's saying that she's like on on robot autopilot i know that she might not know that i know that so it's like yeah, yeah, yeah i'm gonna call you and then inevitably like there you you never hear from them they never like you see them at a bar two days later they'll act like they literally have never even seen you again it's like i've seen this movie dude okay i i really like you you don't fucking, you don't fucking know me what are you even doing here you know you started hanging on me i i literally i didn't even pursue you you drunken fucking retard i don't even know you you have no, you what's hey what's my name <laughs> you know i'm not trying to talk my way out of your pants but like what's my name what you know if you wanted to make fun of what's my name uh, give me a break dude you don't want me to fucking call you you don't even know my name idiot so anyway uh that is what i've got she got 14 years and uh you know don't get drunk like that and drive it's very irresponsible that's what i got subscribe to the channel love you guys peace